my YouTube channel. I'm Ari and today we are styling. It's another styling video. Um, on this video, I actually want to go ahead and style biker shorts. So full confession, being totally honest, I actually hated biker shorts when they first came out. Um, the first time I saw them, I was just like, oh my gosh, this trend is horrible. Um, I think because the reason is I was, I was looking at this trend, everybody was wearing it like being very sporty, like I'm not wearing it with the with a sports bra or something like that and I just didn't like it. I just, I don't know, it's one of those things that I just felt it was gym clothes. Now it's kind of grown on me, but the reason why it's grown on me is because I started seeing them being worn differently, a little bit more, how do I say this? I noticed you can actually wear biker shorts instead of a skirt. You can wear either for, I don't know, like a short dresses and make them look, you know, like you're wearing something underneath, things like that. So I started playing around and I decided that I do. In the end, I will admit I was wrong. I do like biker shorts, not full on athletic look wise, but I do think you can make them look a little bit dressier, um, a little bit nicer, kind of like going out maybe. Um, so I'm gonna be styling them. Also, I wanted to share with you guys, I'm sorry, I'm looking for the bike shoes. Um, it took me a while to actually find a pair that I actually liked. I first ordered a pair, I believe they were Lovers and Friends um, from Revolve. I like them, but they run big, so they didn't really serve the purposes like as other bikers shoes were doing, so they weren't really tucking anything in and they were a little bit too long. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I am not very tall. I'm actually 5'4". I know it's not short short, but it's not. My legs aren't really that long. So actually right above my knee. So I felt that just my legs look even shorter. So I decided not to use them. Then I found this pair. These. These are actually from Free People. Uh, the brand is by Free People. So I don't know. I can't read the... Anyway, but it comes in an extra small to a small, and the fabric is more kind of like a stretchy uh, tight-wise, and they have a thicker waistband, they are shorter, and really they actually do suck everything in. I've got these, and the sizes are extra small, small. So I got these, and I actually like how these fit. So another issue with the biker shorts, it's really about the fit. Some of them really look very cheap, very thin, and will not do anything for your body. It doesn't matter if you have an amazing body, I feel they won't really flatter you. And then you have some of them that are probably really good, but they might be pricier. If you really like the trend, I would recommend getting either kind of like these. These weren't expensive at all. So you can try getting the ones from Spanx. Spanx has a really good, I'm guessing because they're made to contain everything, everything feels better. So I would go for those or even like Commando, things like tight brands, like actual tights, um, they probably make the best. I wouldn't, again, like if you're debating, buy the cheapest biker shorts you can find. Um, they are still in. I saw them a lot in New York Fashion Week. I think a lot of people were thinking that they were just here for the summer, but actually, in my opinion, I think I prefer biker shorts in the winter because I think you can wear them under chunky sweaters, uh, coats, blazers, and just kind of like build up, layer them a lot easier than you would in the summer. So that's what we're going to do right now since it's Technically, I know Texas does not feel like fall, but technically it is fall already, so these looks will all be a little bit more geared towards fall, winter, so we're finally gonna start seeing more boots and stuff. Okay, I know I've talked a lot now. Um, if you're new to my styling videos, there's really not a lot of talking going on. I'm just gonna change in and out of looks and hope you like them. Start. <laughs>
ways I would wear biker shorts. Um, I do confess that one of the looks, the one with the yellow top, is a little bit outside my comfort zone just because, I don't know, but I wanted to include it because I know that's one of the ways girls are wearing biker shorts right now. And definitely it is a cool way to wear them, more of a kind of like a casual athletic vibe, maybe Sunday, out for a walk, a deal like that. So I wanted to include that one. But yeah, definitely biker shorts have won me over. I'm excited to wear them now that temperatures start to drop and I can actually wear this sweater outside. Uh, but again, let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know if you actually like biker shorts because I, I know it took me a while, definitely a while to uh, fall for them. But let me know what you think. Let me know which one is your favorite any other way you would wear them with. And like always, if you like this video, if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment, share it, and I hope to see you guys again here soon. Bye.